Greetings, everybody. Um, we are here back again after quite some time. This is regarding the launch or the showcasing of our 10 channel transmitter, which is the RCB OS 10. And uh, uh, typically, uh, this is a 10 channel transmitter, comes with telemetry and uh, uh, comes with the open source um, uh, comes with the open source uh, software platform and uh, it's got vibration uh, uh, control uh, especially specifically during uh, the warnings that is the voltage low warning etc uh, it gives out a vibration and uh, the look and feel what we have deliberately kept it as close to as rcb 6i uh, of course, the colors are different. The colors become more light gray. And uh, the reason for having the same kind of a mold or the same kind of look and feel is to reduce the cost because we wanted to launch this 10 channel transmitter at a very affordable price, specifically targeting to the Indian audience, of course, where price definitely is a concern here. And uh, I think we might have succeeded in doing that. Uh, and we will be launching this very soon at a fantastic price point. So that was the only reason and nothing more than that. But however, you can see a few changes, or quite a lot of changes I can say is the uh, the screen has become much more larger uh, in size. Uh, a couple of dials have been added. Switches have become all three, three-way switches. Uh, another large change that we have done is, uh, of course, the uh, typical uh, the changing of mode, which is mode one, mode two, as the RCB successfully remains the same. We don't plan to change it either. And on the back side here, we plan to give each and every customer with a LiPo, uh, a three cell LiPo, 11.1 volt, 2200 mAh with the 8C. Uh, no more uh, the NIMH or the nickel cadmium um, uh, NICD or NIMH or the AA batteries that we have been using earlier. So this comes with a LiPo. And if you look closely here, I hope you can, you can see there's a USB input. Uh, this you'll be using a lot as this turns out to be an open so source software. You'll be upgrading and updating a lot of software. Uh, the software will be open to the public very soon. So the community can help themselves or even help um, uh, people around them to start upgrading the software if required. So this typically is how the RCB6 RCB OS 10 is and uh, I will go ahead and place a battery at the back and uh, let's get into the uh, the details of how to how to uh, uh, program this and what are the features etc all right everybody just to show you how the uh, transmitter works I've got around 10 uh, nine servos here Typically named as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Uh, sorry, the 3 is here, which is for the ESC. So channel 1, 2, 3 is for the ESC throttle. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And this is the receiver, the 10 channel receiver, which is the RZ10 receiver. Uh, you've got a small bind button at the back. I hope you can see that. And also we are, we are going to provide you with a small um, a kind of a connector where you can check actually the voltage of the, or, uh, of your uh, receiver or rather the LiPo which is on the model through here itself. You know, you will have a small kind of a, a, a couple of wires coming out. So this is a 10 channel receiver. What I've done is I've gone and fixed it to a, a avionic 30 amp ESC with the uh, Wolfpack. 2800mh 11.1 volt battery so let us go ahead and see how it works so this I have fixed it to the let me see it's very tough to shoot and also demonstrate this will be the channel 1 channel 2 elevator of course, the channel 3 is a throttle which I fixed to the ESC that will go to the motor. This is the channel 3. Channel 4 is the rudder. Channel 5, if I'm right, I've kept it as gear, but let me check it out. Yes, this is channel 5 which I fixed it to the gear, I've assigned it to the gear. 
three point switch channel six I have assigned it as the flap this is six channel seven I have given to aux one Channel 8, I've given to aux 2. Then channel 9, I've given it to the dial here. This is the dial. Let me get it here. Channel 10 is this one. So this is typically what I was talking about, a 10-channel uh, transmitter with a 10-channel receiver. So this gives you a basic demonstration. Of course, you will be using this setup uh, quite often to see how to set up the curves, how to set up the sticks, and how to even set, set up the channels, etc. But that just, I just thought I will show this across to you before we proceed to the next level. All right. Thank you, guys.